CD1 Unit 1 Tape Script 1.1 Where were you born? In Scotland. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Are you married? No, I'm not. Why are you learning English? Because I need it for my job. When did you start learning English? Two years ago. How often do you have English classes? Twice a week. Tapes 1.2 Anton Kristoff from Toronto, Canada Hi, I'm Anton. I come from Canada, but at the moment I'm living here in New York. I'm working as a bike messenger. I really like New York. It's the center of the universe, and it's very cosmopolitan. I have friends from all over the world. I earn about $100 a day in this job. That's good money. I'm saving money for my education. I was born in Toronto, but my parents are from Bulgaria. They moved to Canada 30 years ago. When they first arrived, they didn't speak any English. They worry about me. Last month I had a bad accident on my bike, but I'm fine now. Next September I'm going back home to Toronto, and I'm going to study for a master's degree, and then I hope to get a good job. Tate 1.3 Rowena Lee from Melbourne, Australia Hi, I'm Rowena. I'm Australian. I come from Melbourne, but now I live in North London with my husband, David. He's English. David and I run an art gallery. It's a gallery for Australian Aboriginal art. I just love Aboriginal art. I love all the colours and shapes. I'm preparing a new exhibition at the moment. I came to England in 2006 as a student. My parents wanted me to study law, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I hated it, in fact. I left the course after three months and got a job in an art gallery. That's where I met David. Then we had the idea of opening our own gallery just for Aboriginal art, because most English people don't know anything about it. That was in 2006 and we borrowed £25,000 from the bank to do it. We're lucky because the gallery is really successful and we paid the money back after just five years. I go back to Australia every year. I usually go in the English winter because it's, it's summer in Australia. But I'm not going next year because, you see, I'm going to have a baby in December. It's my first, so I'm very excited. Tape 1.4. Questions about Rowena. 1. Where does she live? In North London. Who with? With her husband, David. 2. What does she do? She runs an art gallery. 3. What's she doing at the moment? She's preparing a new art exhibition. 4. When and why did she come to England? She came to England in 2006 to study law. 5. How long did she study law? For three months. 6. How much money did she borrow from the bank? £25,000. 7. How many children does she have? She doesn't have any at the moment. 8. Why is she excited? Because she's going to have a baby. Tip 1.5. Questions to Serkan. Hi, Serkan. Nice to meet you. Can I ask you one or two questions? Yes, of course. First of all, where do you come from? I'm from Istanbul, in Turkey. And why are you here in England? Well, I'm here mainly because I want to improve my English. Hmm. How much English did you know before you came? Not a lot. I studied English at school, 
but I didn't learn much. Now I'm studying in a language school here. Oh, which school? The Shakespeare School of English. <laughs> a good name. Your English is very good now. Who's your teacher? Thank you very much. My teacher's called David. He's great. What did you do back in Turkey? Well, actually, I was a teacher, a history teacher. I taught children from 14 to 18. How many children were in your classes? Sometimes as many as 40. Goodness, that's a lot. How often do you go back home? Usually I go every two months, but this month my brother is coming here. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited. I'm going to show him round. Well, I hope your brother has a great visit. Tapes 1.6 Whose or whose? 1. Whose phone is ringing? It's mine. 2. Who's calling? It's my brother. Tapes 1.7 1. Whose phone is ringing? It's mine. 2. Who's calling? It's my brother. 3. Who's on the phone? 4. I'm going to the pub. Who's coming? 5. Whose coat is this? It's not mine. 6. Whose are all these CDs? 7. Who's going to Tina's wedding? 8. Do you know whose glasses they are? Tapes 1.8 Questions about you 1. What do you like doing in your free time? 2. Do you like listening to music? 3. What kind of music do you like? 4. What did you do last weekend? 5. What are you doing tonight? 6. What are you going to do after this lesson? 7. How many languages does your teacher speak? 8. What's your teacher wearing today? Tapes 1.9 Listen and compare What do you like doing in your free time? I like being with my friends. We go to each other's houses and chat. Do you like listening to music? Yes, of course. I have an iPod. What kind of music do you like? I like all kinds. Rock, jazz, pop. But the thing I like best is listening to my dad's old Beatles albums. <laughs> what did you do last weekend? It was my mum's birthday, so we all cooked a special meal for her. What are you doing tonight? Mm, nothing much. I want to get an early night before the weekend. What are you going to do after this lesson? I have a bit of shopping to do. Then I'm going home. How many languages does your teacher speak? Only English. She says she's going to learn Italian next year. What's your teacher wearing today? A very pink jumper and red trousers. Mm, not a great look. Tapes 1.10 My oldest friend 1. Kenny talking to Judy Kenny, I see you have more than 300 friends on Facebook. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I don't know how it happened. I think it's because my job takes me all over the world and I make friends wherever I go. I travel too, but I don't have that many friends. Come on, Judy. I'm your friend. That's one friend at least. <laughs> but what about close friends? How many of the 300 are close? I have no idea. No idea? More than 10? 
more than twenty? Uh, probably no more than ten. Really close friends. So, who's your oldest friend? That's easy. Pete's my oldest friend. Since we were both sixteen, and he came to my school. He lives in Canada now, but he was best man at my wedding, and I was best man at his. How often do you see him? Not often. Maybe once or twice a year. I went over to Canada last year when his son was born. Do you know he named him Ken after me? Hey, that's lovely. You and Pete are really good friends, aren't you? Yeah. Why do you think that is? <laughs> It's our love of football. Don't tell me. He supports Liverpool too. Of course, best team in the in the world. No, seriously, the best thing about Pete is that maybe we don't see each other for months, even years. But when we get together, immediately we're talking about football. <laughs> <laughs> no, about all kinds of things. Our families mainly. He's a great guy. Two. Damien talking to Toby. Am I your best friend? No, silly. You're my brother. I'm not silly. Can't I be your best friend? No, you can't. No one's best friends with his brother. But I don't have many friends. That's your problem. Look, I'm going to meet Thomas and the gang now. Is Thomas your best friend? No. Is he your oldest friend? No. Zach's my oldest friend. You know that since we sat next to each other in class one. Zach and me are going to travel the world together when we finish school. Can I come? No, you can't. Just shut. Well, can Thomas be my friend? Toby, be quiet about friends. Oh, you're so boring. I'm not surprised you have no friends. But can I? No, no, no. I'm off. See ya. Three, Katie talking to Beth. Katie, you're lucky. You have so many friends. Hmm, I suppose so. I do have quite a lot. Why do you think that is? Well, I'm not sure. I think I kind of collect friends. I have friends from all different times in my life. You know, school, university, and now at work. And I keep my friends. So, who's your oldest friend? You are, of course. <laughs> you and me, Beth. We're the same age, twenty-four, and you could say we met before we were born. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Yeah, <laughs> our mums met when they were. I know they met at the hospital when they went for checkups before we were born. Yeah, and we were born on the same day. I know, but I'm ten hours older than you. That's why you're wiser than me. <laughs> you're my oldest and my best friend. You're like a sister to me. No. <laughs> Taped one point eleven. A survey. How do couples meet? A survey of over ten thousand couples asked them how they first met. The top three were first, with twenty-two percent, at work. Second, with twenty percent. Through friends, and third, with fifteen percent, at school or university. Next, with twelve percent, was meeting online. Nowadays, more and more couples are meeting this way. Just eight percent met at a bar or club, and five percent through the family, which was quite surprising. Only four percent met on a blind date, perhaps not so surprising. Last of all, just one percent met while shopping, so don't go looking for love in the supermarket. That leaves just thirteen percent who didn't meet in any of these places. Tips one point twelve. What happened next, Dominic? I sent Sally a text a couple of days after the date. She played it cool and didn't reply for two days. We met up a week later, went for a walk, and then to the cinema. <laughs> We're still seeing each other. She's helping me train for the marathon, which is next month. She's going to come and watch me. 
Also, she came to the theatre to watch my play, and she said she liked it. I'm going to meet her parents next weekend. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that, but I enjoy being with her a lot. Sally, when Dom texted, I knew I wanted to answer, but I made him wait. I'm not sure why. Silly, really, because I really do like him. I enjoyed seeing him act. I think he's a very good actor, but I didn't really understand the play. He's coming to meet my family next weekend. I don't usually take my boyfriends home so soon, but with Dom it's different. I have a good feeling about this relationship. Will it last? Um, ask me again a year from now. Tape one point thirteen. Words with two meanings. One. Turn left in the high street, and my house is first on the right. She left hurriedly to catch her bus. Two. I love travelling by train. He's going to train for the marathon. Three. I'm going to run a marathon next month. They run the art gallery together. Four. I'm working at home for the rest of the week. I need a rest. I'm so tired. Five. What kind of books do you like reading? How kind of you to bring me some flowers. Six. Our flat's on the fourth floor of a big apartment block. Holland is a very flat country. Seven. What do you mean? I don't understand you. He never even buys me a coffee. He's very mean. Tape one point fourteen. Listen and repeat. One. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Two. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Three. Can I help you? No, thank you. I'm just looking. Four. Excuse me. Is that seat free? No, sorry. I'm afraid it isn't. Tapes one point fifteen. Social expressions. One. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day again. Two. See you tomorrow. Yeah, about nine in the coffee bar. Three. How do you do? How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Four. Thank you very much indeed. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Five. I'm sorry, I can't come tonight. Never mind. Perhaps another time. Six. Can you help me with this exercise? Of course. What's the problem? Seven. Bye. Bye. See you later. Eight. Bye. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. Nine. Sorry, I'm late. It doesn't matter. You're here now. Ten. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to your new job. Tapes one point sixteen. Conversations. One. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely day again. Yes, it's really warm for the time of year. Two. See you tomorrow. Yeah, about nine in the coffee bar. Fine, nine is good for me too. Three. How do you do? How do you do? 
Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. Four. Thank you very much indeed. Don't mention it. My pleasure. It was so kind of you. Five. I'm sorry I can't come tonight. Never mind. Perhaps another time? I'm free tomorrow night. What about that? Six. Can you help me with this exercise? Of course. What's the problem? I don't know what this word means. Seven. Bye. Bye. See you later. Yes, let's meet after class. Eight. Bye. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. Thanks. Are you doing anything special? Nine. Sorry, I'm late. It doesn't matter. You're here now. Yeah, I missed the bus. Ten. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to your new job. Thanks a lot. I'm excited, but a bit nervous.